Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Attraction Marketing. Let me ask you a quick question. If someone came to me or came to you with a problem and you have two choices. You either try to help them with their problem or you sell to them. What do you think is going to create the best relationship? Now I understand that sometimes you're helping people with problems, you know, that, that has costs and things come in with it. But how do you develop that relationship? What do you do? Do you, you do you try and understand their issues and try and give them a little bit of help and advice? Or do you hit them with a sales tactic straight away and get them to you know sign up to your services? What do you do? What's going to create the best relationship for you? In this video, we're going to be talking about emotional connection and how we understand emotional connection and how being emotional and building the trust actually helps us in our endeavors when we look at things from a different perspective. So when we come right back, we're going to jump right into it and have a little discussion on the emotional connection in business. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Brokers, this is Attraction Marketing. If you are listening to the podcast of this, then please make sure that you subscribe and you like and comment on our podcast. And if you've got any questions, then please get back to us. And if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, then please like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, and if you're not new to the channel, then welcome back, you know. And so today we're going to talk about emotional connection. I asked you before um, what you would do in, in a certain situation. I understand that all too often, you know, we, we have to earn money. We, we have to earn a living, okay? But what do you sacrifice in order to do that, okay? So many people try to have this kind of buy or die syndrome. I've seen it a lot with marketing. A lot of market, marketers, you know, they, they'll, you know, there's, it's, you know, fear of missing out, you know, the FOMO, you know, or countdown timers, etc., etc. trying to force people to buy something. Nine times out of 10, it's actually not helping them. It's not giving the person the solution that they actually need. They think that they need that new, that new device or they think they need that new thing. And psychologically, they're kind of forced into buying a product or a service. That person is not going to be a long-term client from you. They're going to buy from you, they're going to realize eventually they didn't actually really want that and then they're going to fall away from you and you have lost the opportunity to develop that relationship. I see it a lot with lawyers, with lawyers that are actually developing their practices and every lawyer is, you know, they're suited and booted, there's, they've got briefcases, they, anybody who looks at a lawyer, looks at images of lawyers, instantly in their mind they just see money, it's going to cost me money, it's going to cost me $300, $400 an hour for them to fill in a form, it's going to cost, you know, and then lawyers wonder why they're not getting clients in through the door and it's oversaturated that marketplace, okay? Holistic therapists are the same. Th it's it's the same thing because you you try to sell a service rather than trying to build a relationship and develop a solution for the person. You need to be able to develop trust in your business, but you don't get trust in your business unless they trust you. Okay, if they don't trust you, they're not going to trust your business, and they're not going to trust your business without understanding who you are and what you're offering and how much of a service that you can actually give them or or are you going to go over and above for that person so people have this buy or die syndrome because they have to they have to make money from the services that they're doing i know that when i'm coaching people recently i coached someone and, and they're trying to try to get out there and get as many contracts and things as they want and instantly what i heard was when i when i witnessed the 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 kind of sales infrastructure that was doing was all about the sale, all about this is what you're buying, this is what you're getting, not listening to the customer, not listening to what the problem was, not listening to how they could be the solution. Because very often what the customer needs is just a lot more than your service. 
a lot more than just that one little package that you're trying to sell them. They need a solution for their life. They need a solution for their business. If you're a coach, you're giving people solutions to help them break through their barriers. If you're consultant, uh, you know, for, for businesses, you're looking at the pains that the businesses have and you're trying to create strategies and identify weaknesses in their, their systems and trying to find ways around that. But you know, it doesn't matter how much theory you know, if you don't build an emotional connection with your audience, you're not going to keep them for very long. Your, your content can be as good as it likes. It can be phenomenal content. It can be colourful content. The video can be, you know, magnificent. But if you don't create that emotional connection, then you're actually just kind of hitting balls out the park with no one to catch them. You, 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 you know, you're, you're trying to light a fire in a, in, in, in a jungle that's absolutely damp. It's just no point, okay? Because... You in your mind, in your mindset, your mindset is all about getting the sale, not about how much you can serve. I've always said to people, the, the, the thing that you need to do is, is service first and the dividends come later. If someone reaches out to me and needs help, I will give them help, you know, and I'll do as much as I possibly can. The dividends come later because they need to know that you need, that, that, that they need you. Not that you need them. And if you're coming across desperate trying to sell your service or your product, you just put people away. It's like a magnetic repulsion. You're, you're, re, re, you know, you're, you're kind of sending the vibes out that you're desperate. And so that, that just goes against the whole grain of what you're trying to do. And, and it repels them. And they're not going to trust you. It is important that you look toward the relationship and the emotional connection that you make not how much you can sell or get from them. If you, if you go in with the mindset of service and not the mindset of sell, then you're going to come out on top. And the, 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 the reality is, is coming out on top means long-term success, long-term relationship. The goal is to develop the, the trust that they're going to have for you um, for years to come. You will be their go-to service. You will be their go-to woman or their go-to guy. If you're a lawyer, you want to try and come across normal. You don't want to come out, you know, over highfalutin and and you know holier than thou. And I've seen that in in legal industry. And and of course, in the same in in the health industry or even in the HVAC industry, a big thing in the HVAC industry is people will go into sell a product to someone and it's often not what they need because all all that salesman has in their mind is if I sell this amount I sell this amount then uh, I'm going to get this commission not and then what happens is something invariably goes wrong and it might not be the salesman's problem but you've given them a solution that they didn't actually need and that salesman's maybe made their commission but what happens to the company bad reviews Straight away, negative, uh, negative experience. The relationship is negative. Everything is negative and, and just from that one thing. So you have to give people the solution to their needs or you have to understand what they're trying to achieve or what they're, what they're hoping to achieve. What is, what, is, what is driving them? What is it that they need at that time to be able to... Uh, develop that relationship with you. If you have the buy or die syndrome, it's not going to work. So you're an HVAC business, a salesman, and you go in there and you sell them the wrong product, you get bad reviews, it's hurt your business. Or you go in there and you, you, tell, you, you develop the relationship. What do you want? How can I help you? What is your problems? What's, what's, what's painful in your life, in your home at the moment, in your environment? you don't actually need that system because that system would be too much for you or that system is not enough for you. You have to work to what the client needs. And it's the same with a lawyer. I see so many lawyers, I, I, I've got an issue where I was going to cost you $500 for a letter. You haven't really understood my problem. Or you're sitting there behind your fancy desk and 
you're coming across with all the legal mumbo jumbo in the world and that person sitting in front of your desk is a lay person who doesn't understand the legal mumbo jumbo. Doesn't understand. You're frightening that person. You're actually putting them off because all they can, they're not hearing what you're saying. They're, they're, they're counting up how much it's going to cost. So you have, the best lawyer I ever met, right, was was a, a young lawyer and 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 I'm not putting any you know older lawyers down or anything. But it was a young lawyer, and um, he, he, it was normal. I went to his office and he was sitting there. It was all very natural and there was no highfalutin suits and everything else. Uh, and we met in a coffee shop. He was in jeans and a top and fantastic service. Instant trust. Instant trust because there was none of this looking down on you because they were superior in knowledge or anything. That's not the way that we develop relationships. It's not the way that we develop trust. It doesn't matter whether you're a fitness instructor, a lawyer, a, a, a health therapist, um, whether you, you run a, 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 a contracting business. It is all about relationships. It's all about you building the trust between you and that person. And they may not buy from you straight away, but they will remember you. They will remember what you do for them. So always think about this. Service before sell. Service before selling any product, okay, or any service. Think about what the problem is that they have. Try and understand them. Understand what the pains that they're going through and how you can help. So what if it takes a little bit of time and you give them some help and, and you know it's 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 taken they haven't bought from you they probably will in the future or they'll remember you or better still they will recommend you they maybe can't afford you just now but the very fact that you've gone over and above just to give them some time or you've gone over and above just to give them a, a little bit of help and to understand what it is that they need you might not get the sale from them but you might get the sale from three other people that they recommend because they've trusted you. When you come across as someone that can be trusted, you're going to build that relationship for a long time. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen. It's about emotional connections, not about how much you can sell straight away. Develop the emotional connection with your audience. Your brand will grow naturally. Dividends will come. Dividends will come anyway. It's, it's, I mean, and if you're Christian or religious orientated, look at look in the Bible. Sow the seeds, and it comes back tenfold. But if you're trying to force the growth of the seed just so that you can have it for yourself, it ain't going to come back tenfold. You'd be as well just planting weeds. So think about making the connection by offering service. To humanity, offering service to the people that help. I I know. Here's the big thing with coaches, right? Uh, and I I've listened and I've tracked a few things, and and I've tested the water with a number of uh, place, you know, a number of people and things. And and one of the things I see about them is instantly is, well, if you're a coach, you got to hire a coach. You, you should be doing this. You should be investing in yourself. You should be doing. You. It's all about the sale and not about the service. I've seen some coaches that are all about the service and all about how they can actually help and how they can better you rather than buy or die. And, I've, and it's the same in, in any industry. You'll have the people there that will come across that, like they're helping you, but it's more they're more interested in you, uh, you know, removing your cash from your wallet or, or your, get your credit card out. That's all very well and good and we all do need that. Time to time, you know, we, we do need to make a living. We Obviously, we do. We, we need to pay our bills. We need to make money. But at what cost do we uh, destroy our relationships and our trust just for the fast buck? If you go into business and into any endeavor that you're doing with the attitude of service to humanity, service to your fellow brother and sister, service to the people who are suffering, Dividends will come naturally. It is spiritual law. Law of cause and effect, law of karma, whatever you want. It is spiritual law. And that spiritual law transcends any human law. So think about the spiritual law 
before you make a decision based on uh, what you think someone needs or what you even think you need. And don't come across desperate to sell. Come across as happy to develop your relationship, happy to make an emotional connection. Someone who is, who is under a problem, if you're a lawyer and someone has got a problem and they're looking for someone, they want somebody that understands that problem. A divorce lawyer has got to understand divorce and the pains and the suffering that happens. An immigration lawyer has got to understand the pains and the suffering that people go through with immigration problems. Not just look at $3,000 they can charge for a form or $10,000 they can charge for a case. Your reputation, your trust, your authority means more than just the piece of paper you put in your pocket. Because at some point, karma is going to balance anyway. I would rather be in the right side of karma than the wrong side of karma. So, ladies and gentlemen, my last thing and my last little tip for you. Develop your emotional trust with the people that you're trying to reach. The rest is easy. The rest will come. Have a wonderful day, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do subscribe. And if you've got any questions, then please uh, message me um, or write them on our social media or below the video or even on the podcast. You can get our email and, and send us an email. Uh, till the next time, guys, have a great time. And remember, develop emotional relationships. That is attraction marketing. God bless.